Greetings everyone, this is Elizabeth here today with the Fairy Hugs video design team. I was searching through the stamps trying to decide what to make for today's video and I spotted Luna and thought she needs to be jumping out of the water in a full moon design. And so all I did was I stamped Luna on a masking paper so I can cover her up and ink around her. And then I kind of fit her in my die cutting circles to find one that would be really big against her. And that's what I've chosen. This particular one is, um, it's a big one. It's almost three and a half inches in diameter. So it's a pretty big circle and we're going to put this moon right in, I'm not sure if I want it up off the page. That's the nice thing about having your die cut or your mask. You can put it anywhere you want. And I think I'm going to have it close to the edge, but not completely off. And then Luna is going to be right about there. Okay. So let's get, oh, in my card base. Let's get the card base out of the way. I just trimmed my card panel a quarter inch smaller. So it is actually four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to set this here. I'm going to set that there. And do I want, yeah, I kind of want her like that. I'm pretty sure. Put that moon up there. Just like so. Okay. And we've got our blues and purples that we're going to stamp with. Let's slide her mask out of the way. Make sure my panel is in the corner. Pick that up. Scooch that out of the way. And then we're going to do... I'm going to use my Memento. Memento for me is not a solid black. It is not as rich as my... Uh, Versifying Claire, and that's fine for this application. We're going to stamp her in the black. Okay. And you can see it's kind of gray. It's not very dark and bright, and that's, that's what we're going for. We want a good black, but not fabulous. We're going to clean the Luna off. Okay. And then we're going to grab a blue, a really dark blue, and we're going to ink her up in blue. Because, you know, whales are not black. They're, they're a weird grayish color. I think a little bit of blue in there. Anyways, that's what my whale is going to be like. And so now I've got that blue right over the top. And not quite blue enough and that's okay I think what I'll do is I'll go in with a marker and add more blue but it did change the color of my black a little bit and it really filled it in oh yeah that added a little bit of a halo of blue in there oh I wish you guys could see that it's just the right color I was going for so we're going to clean our stamp, set this little gem aside, and then we're going to peel our mask. And I just used Gina K's Masking Magic. And we're going to get our little tweezer to go between the paper and the sticker piece. Maybe. Sometimes I find it easier to set it on the table and stick a pokey tool between the layers okay now the reason we're masking Luna first is because we want the moon behind her if we stamp the moon and do all the moon stuff um, we're gonna see Luna and the moon overlap and that's not what we want we want Luna nice and crisp so our little moon is going to go right there 
And to get that to stay, I'm just going to grab some low tack washi tape and I'm going to spin it in a circle so it sticks to itself. You could probably even use some pixie spray. Okay. And then I'm just going to place this moon where I want it, maybe up towards the top like so okay I'm gonna do dark blues and purples mostly in the sky but it is gonna blend all the way down and then I'm gonna do some light blues in the water maybe hopefully like it's the moon reflecting a little bit and they're gonna be mostly down below so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our blenders I just name a purple and blue one. And I'm going to start with the purple. Go right into the corners. Nice dusk moon. Get that in there. And because this is paper, we're going to get a really interesting halo. So that'll be fabulous. And then that was really goobery. I just went into the purple. Wipe that off real quick. Let's go for some blue. <laughs> and I'm not going to worry about the purple up there. It's going to mix just fine. It's just going to make everything more rich and dark and beautiful. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Just stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. And then we're going to bring this down. Start at the top and just let that blue come all the way down. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Start at the top, work our way down. Okay, and then right down the center, nice and light. All right, and then we're going to grab that purple again. And we're just gonna go right around our moon. Kind of give it like a little purple halo. There we go. Fabulous, okay. Now we're gonna clean off our brush, the blue one, and we're gonna go into the darker blue of the lighter blues and then we're gonna just bring that in and I'm not being too careful it is water she jumped out so it's got some motion and stuff to it so we're just gonna do that and then we're gonna grab the lighter one and go right all over the top So we get this nice blend of colors. And try and do a line across where the sky and the water meet. Very lightly. Okay, there we go. very lightly all right I'm gonna clean up and I'll be right back okay so we're all nice and cleaned up we're gonna peel just the moon hopefully get the moon out of there leave Luna in place <laughs> come on now there we go I'm gonna leave Luna in place and this is super stark white we're gonna grab our uh, scrap paper that we took the circle out of and we're just gonna lay it there and we're gonna start with a little bit of white 
Okay, any white pigment will do. I have a special brush just for my white. And I'm just going to add some white right to the edge. And we won't see it because it's white. We're just going to add that right to the edge. Okay. And then we're going to go in with... I'm going to try Hickory Smoke. Okay. Get a little tap. And then I'm just going to blend it in. Oh, that looks lovely. And we don't want it perfect because, you know, our moon is blotchy. There's a lot going on up there that we don't know about, but it's blotchy. And I'm just going to maybe make it a little bit darker right down here. Okay, now I want some darker spots because, you know, our moon also has some dark spots. So I'm going to tap right into the dark um, black soot and add some darker spots. And I'm just going to pick three areas to add the darker spots. Nothing fancy. Just add some dark spots. And if we want it darker, I'm just going to tap it in there. Very lightly fan that out. And there we go. I think I'm going to like the tapping texture. Just add some of that in there. And then kind of fan it back out. Just like so. And this is not sped up. This is so you guys can follow along, pause it, try this technique yourself. It's very easy. That white helps to make your lighter gray even more light and get it moving around in there. Mm, look at that. And because the paper has a border, it gave us a natural white line right in there. And we can accentuate this with our gel pens. Okay. One of the items on my list is a glue pen so that I can add glitter and stuff. But for now, we're just going to add our gel pen. Going to just do some streaky motions. Maybe get a little bit. Follow this dark area here. Just... A little streaky, a little weird. That and my pen is not working properly, so it's actually benefiting me a little bit to leave these little streaky motions. Doesn't have to be perfect. That's what's great about this particular design is it can be as wiggly and squiggly as you like it. No straight lines. I'm gonna add some more spots in there. Just like so. Okay, and now we need our water. And so to do the water, we're gonna go back and forth, left to right, dots and lines and squiggles make the horizon line more solid but then the waves and stuff just hit and miss oh i love it i hope this is inspiring you to pull out your luna or dolphin anything that um, breaches the water would be fun. Now I'm going to pull up my stamp mask and we're going to get 
oh look at Luna isn't she just gorgeous Oh, I'm loving that. Um, we're going to grab a gray pencil because I'm afraid if I go in with my alcohol inks, it's going to be too dark. So all I'm going to do is grab my pencil pouch here and I'm going to grab a light gray. Um, maybe, maybe this one. And we're just going to color in Luna. I don't want her stark white and actually coloring right over these lines that is making it very interesting I'm liking that okay and then we're gonna get a bluish color to go into those areas and remember where the blues are or a bluish gray Mm, like this one right here. And then we're just going to color those in. Because again, I don't want them stark white. You can leave them stark white. Nothing wrong with that. But I would rather not. Add a little bit of that color down there. Just to kind of tie it all in together. And there we have it. How lovely is that? No speeding through, no craziness. The lo longest part is cutting your um, mask. Now with the masking magic, you're gonna wanna save that. You're just gonna pop that right on the packaging and it will come in handy the very next time. And then you've got these two you can keep in your stash or chuck them. I mean, don't have to hang on to them. Give a little wipe, grab our little card base, make sure it is top, is at the top. And then we just take a light line of glue right around. Oops, get a hold of it here. And then we're gonna gently set the card panel down, okay. Because you can see I've got more here. And I'm just going to gently pull it where I need it. And ugh, look at that. Oh, I'm so happy with that. And you can spruce this up with some shimmer goodness. Um, we have our sparkle pots. Now the inks that I used are a water base, so the colors will move if you do a lot of scrubbing. But I'm just going to take my little sparkle pot and just give it a wipe. Just all over. Nothing, nothing fancy. Not too, um, too saturated. And let it do what it wants to do. And there we go. Maybe a little bit around the moon. You guys probably won't see it, but in real life, it'll look beautiful. Mm. Ooh, and I added a little bit too much water, but it just, it made that move really interesting. Oh, I like that. Stretch that out, turn that that way, just like so. And there we have it. Luna getting ready to go back into the water after her long breach. I hope this is inspiring for you and you create something beautiful and crafty and you can share it on the fairy stamper um, social media platforms. You can tag them and all that good stuff. All their links are down in the description below for you, as is the link to Luna. Now, this is just a die cut moon, just a circle that I had, and I filled it in with some blacks and grays. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone.